Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be the tutorial for the fancy Israeli turban. And you know what, I had been asked last week, my last week, whenever you're seeing this, um, I have been asked to do a tutorial on this look and I thought that this is the look that I wore because I get confused, I, I never pay attention in my private videos that are not wrapping related, I pay no attention to what I'm wearing on my head. I color combine of course what I'm wearing and things like this but I do not really pay attention to what I'm wrapping, which way, what kind of wrap I'm wearing. So for me it is really really hard then to say what is this? Did I do a tutorial? It happens to me all the time that people ask me do you have a tutorial for this? And I say I have no idea. I really don't know. Also because names and all of this means nothing to me. I, you know, that I just don't have a brain like this. You know, I cannot remain, uh, remember stuff like this. So I'm so sorry, but everybody deserves to have a fault or two, right? I just can't. <laughs> anyway, so what I wanted to say about this wrap is that um, this is the Big Regal. So I thought that I have to film this today, but it's the Big Regal. So you can just do the follow that tutorial okay so this is today of course a different look and it is based on the Israeli turban which has been a huge hit in our little wrapping community and I had so much fun seeing everybody going crazy about the Israeli turban because also ever since I did that that tutorial it has been one of my favorites so the natural thing to happen is that we you know move a step ahead and just do a version of this you know so I wanted to do this one today. So I'm using the cranberry and I'm going to use the can catch me scarf. I'm going to show you of course in the tutorial part a bit more how they look if you're new here and you don't know those scarves. And before we go into this I just want to mention to you that um, there is also a request that I should do a like a beginner special and that is coming up in probably two weeks. So if you're waiting for this with my suggestions about what a beginner should get when they start out and things to Watch out for and things like this according to my experience or to for my opinion um, that is coming I'm working on that but next week there's going to be something else that has to come up first so just so you know I didn't forget it's coming of course I have to say that all of this is of course in collaboration with Rapunzel thank you so much Rapunzel for working with me um, everything you're seeing here is of course provided by Rapunzel and I'm super super happy that we have this collaboration going on because I think it has been a blessing for every Everybody and I really cannot believe that I'm with Rapunzel for one and a half years already and we're so happy about this <laughs> you know yeah so uh, it's a real blessing because you know there are a lot of collaborations who go bad and um, it's I'm so so glad that we are really really doing well <laughs> you know we really like each other yeah so anyway without further ado let's go right into the tutorial and I hope you enjoy Okay, hi sweeties, welcome to the tutorial part. Okay, and for that we of course we are using two scarves or two, a pashmina and a scarf depending on how you see it. Anyway, so I want to use the cranberry which is just a very very beautiful scarf with a beautiful color. Of course it comes in different colors also on the website if this is not your color. And then it has these beautiful borders all around and it has fringes like that. Okay, let me just show you maybe the border and this whole transition between the border and the color so you can see it a little bit better. Covered up my microphone, I hope that was okay. So anyway, <laughs> let's put down that scarf and I'm going to put it down from the, yeah, from the top and again I'm pulling it to the front a little bit and flipping it in so I can clean it up in the front. Um, I know there was a question recently how to clean up the wraps from the back but I have no idea. I really don't so I'm sorry that I cannot be of help with this one. I tried to give it some thought but I really have no idea to like it would be really really clumsy if I would try to attempt this so I'd rather not. <laughs> anyway so I'm going to tie a knot in the back because as you know that is what I need to feel comfortable with my wraps so they don't move. Anyway, so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to tie it really nice and tight like that. 
Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put down the Can't Catch Me scarf. This is how it looks. It has a beautiful, beautiful pattern all over, or I should say different patterns all over like this. It's pretty big and it has one tassel on each corner. So that is really like a flying carpet kind of a thing. So it's really, really charming, really cute. Okay, I'm taking the Can't Catch Me scarf. I'm just going to crunch it up. Of course, you can also fold it nicely. Whatever you feel like. I feel like just, you know, scrunch, crunching it up like this. And I'm going to put this down about here. Just a, just a little bit to the back. And again, I'm going to tie a knot. So now I'm bringing over the one part from here, from the Can Catch Me scarf, to the other side. So that's why it is super, super important that you do have a knot, otherwise you wouldn't be able to do it. So you have both on this side and then this one of the cranberry on this side, okay? So now let me just show you from the back. Okay, now I'm going to bring both of them up over my head and cross them over once and cross them over again. So this part here is exactly like the uh, Israeli turban tutorial, just that we are leaving out this one part here of the cranberry, okay? So I'm going to then just tuck it in somewhere, wherever I find room. Like this. And then the rest of, oh, this is so cute, look at this. I don't even want to tuck it away because it's so cute. Anyway, let's see if I can manage to keep this out because it's so sweet. So now I'm going to bring up this part of the cranberry and I'm just going to place it right behind it. That is really all it is. There is nothing more. And maybe I should leave out some tassels here because fringes, fringes in this case. Oh. All right, I'm learning. You know what? I'm going to leave some fringes out here. Let me just clean up the back a little bit. And I'm going to leave the tassel hanging out here. This is so cute. Anyway, so this is the fancy Israeli turban. And I think it's really, really cute. And it's super, super easy. There is really, you know, if you have understood the concept of the Israeli turban, then this is basically just one step further. And I think that's absolutely no problem. So it's really cute. I hope it looks okay from the back. Let me just turn around. other side yeah so this is what it is I hope you did enjoy I hope it was helpful let me know down in the comments what you think and maybe also your your color schemes the, the scarves that you would use or something like this you can of course always tag me on social media when you're trying my wraps that is always true you can always always do that sometimes it takes me some time to get back to you but um, I always like I try <laughs> I try my best anyway I'm always thrilled to hear from you or to see what you're doing because it is also an inspiration for me and I'm really, really grateful that we sort of have each other and can also learn from each other, you know? So that is really, really nice. Besides that, of course, if you want to order from Rapunzel, then you can, if you want to, use my affiliate code, which is Queen Leora in all caps in one word. You will find it right here. And if you're watching this on my channel, you will also find it in the description box. Besides that, of course, you will find the, the things that I talked about today or that I used today linked in the description box. So you have an easy easy way finding them sort of <laughs> okay so besides that i just hope you have a very awesome day you enjoy wrapping it's a big big gift it's a big blessing and it's a huge place for creativity so we have really a lot of reasons to be thankful and to be really proud of what we're doing here because it's a beautiful thing so that is it for today i hope you enjoyed if you're new here please subscribe to my channel and if you like the video give it a like and besides that i'll see you here next time for my next video which is going to be super soon and up until then, go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.